I am Dr. Vaivi Rao, plastic and cosmetic surgeon. In this topic, I will be mentioning briefly about uh, the various types of trauma and how the trauma is reconstructed starting from the fingertip injury to the various severe crush injuries of different parts of the body. Basically divided into four or five categories. So we deal with the reconstruction, be it whatever the cause. The commonest are from the birth defects, that is congenital. As I mentioned, uh, some people are in fact as if not all, some people are born with uh, some defects either starting from the nose, face or limbs or anywhere in the body. All these are to a certain extent if not completely they are correctable. In fact, if they are seen in the early stages or in the, if they are in the proper way in the sense if they are very no, not very cross, definitely they are correctable. And uh, these correctable deformities sometimes need to be done in stages if not in one stage at a time. So this is uh, congenital or birth deformities correction. Then comes the traumatic that is deformities caused by the trauma be it accidental or be it operative or after cancer surgeries or any other mutilating surgeries or after radiations or after other, any other deformity. So related to surgical field. So the deform, for example, reconstruction following a uh, breast removal. So breast is considered one of the feminities, feminine signs of the male, female. If one breast is removed and other breast is there, so definitely she likes to have another breast. Gone are those golden days where people used to bear or rather uh, get away with uh, one breast and either by padding or to the opposite side. Now people are coming forward. In fact, when the facility is there, why not get it done? Yes, it is possible, definitely. So reconstruction of the breast. That is possible with this plastic and reconstructive surgery. Likewise, a trauma, be it from a small fingertip injury or a major crush injury by road traffic accidents, so for example, a run over by a lorry, a part of this, be it on a limb or be it on the lower limb, anywhere. If it is run over, what happens is the skin, soft tissue, that is the skin, the muscles underneath, as well as the bones, the blood vessels, the nerves, all get shattered or broken or crushed. So as a plastic surgeon, many people think that if it is an accident or when the bone is broken, it is only the job of an orthopedician. In fact, the job of the orthopedician, frankly speaking, hardly lasts one hour there in the operative period. Whereas the job of a plastic surgeon to reconstruct a crushed limb, for example, by a run over by a lorry, it takes many hours. Why many hours? Bone fixing is usually done by fixing with plates and screws or by external fixators, either internal or external fixation. After that, our job comes. That means skeletal stabilization is first done, then soft tissue cover. So there is no limb without a proper skin cover or a proper blood vessel. It's not just the bone. First the bone is stabilization. For the sake of stabilization, bone is done first. Then all the blood vessels, the nerves are repaired to restore the circulation and to maintain the continuity of the limb. The muscles are repaired. Then finally comes the skin cover. So how we repair the skin or how we repair the gaps is, in body, if you see, uh, nature has given so much of spare tissue in the body. In the sense, there are certain less important areas in the body. We can take in plastic surgery, we use the principle of taking from a less important area and keeping it in a more important area. For example, the more important area here is the accidental zone. So we take from a less important area, for example, from the back or from the thighs and then take some either the muscle or the muscle with uh, some other tissues along with the blood vessels and nerves or the skin alone and transfer it to the zone of the trauma. Then we maintain the continuity. In the bargain, it, it may not be 100% exactly matching the earlier uh, part, but more or less or near normal we try to bring in. Sometimes it needs to be done in a secondary correction, very secondary 
corrections after a few months, maybe three to six months. Some minor procedures may be required. This is how we reconstruct the different uh, kinds of trauma. And if not 100%, we can bring them more or less near to normalcy. As I'm a member of the library, you can clear your doubts either in the open form or in uh, private consultation through library.